diamonds, and so much more. I'm Catherine Manningman, international image stylist, and I'm with... Linda Riche, owner of Robert Riche Jewelers in Dorval. Well, today, guess what? We are celebrating Canada's 150th birthday. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy birthday. <laughs> this is part of what we do. We love to drink and toast, and we love our champagne. In fact, I think we're featuring a champagne from Quebec. So happy birthday, Quebec. Well, That's thank right. you for our champagne. Salut. <laughs> Salut. While she's taking her toast, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the collection of diamonds that we have mm -hmm. because they are very special. And Linda's going to tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah. Maple Leaf Diamonds is a Canadian company that produces Canadian diamonds. And for Canada's 150th, they've come up with a special cut that has 150 facets. So that much more illumination. <laughs> and I have to tell you, having this, the diamond, like you look at a traditional cut, and then you have a 150 cut diamond, my gosh. So I was trying two, two diamonds on the same mm -hmm. size with the different cuts, one the Canadian, one traditional. Yep. The brilliance, the it was unbelievable. It's gorgeous. It takes the stunning. Up. It takes the wattage up, and yeah. it makes all girls happy with those kinds of things. So I wanted to point that out because uh, when you start looking at diamonds, do really look at the Canadian uh, collection because it's supreme. It's and we have nice stones to begin with, and yes. this new cut really takes it up. up out of the ballpark. And one thing I do want to share, because of the brilliance, when you look at the size, the same size together, actually the brilliance makes that stone look even bigger. And all girls love that as well, don't we? we yeah, love bigger is better. <laughs> so as we look at this collection, let me show you. Uh, this diamond here has a rose gold to it, which is lovely with a stone in the middle, a little halo around it. Halo around it yeah. And this again, here's another one, a little bit more uh, white gold with a halo and a, ja uh, a halo around it. I've Ooh. called them jackets before, but I think it's their halo. Oh, halo, yeah. And this here, I like, you know, uh, solitaire diamonds are very traditional, very special, and people really like them. Yeah. Uh, That's a classic. If you're looking for a sort of like a little variation, a little bit more bling to it, this setting here with the solitary with the braid of diamonds on yeah. On the side, it's very it's nice lovely. accent. So I suggest that as well. Mm -hmm. And then also you have your traditional solitaires. Yep. And people really enjoy that. And then here we have the biggest bling bling. Yeah. yeah. It has the halo around it, just more diamonds. And the, the brilliancy is just stunning. So this collection. If you're looking for engagement rings, you're yep. looking for diamonds for anniversaries and parties and uh, celebrations and anniversaries, this is the And ring. the beauty of the Canadian diamonds, they come with their own certificates. Mm -hmm. Each diamond is engraved on the girdle, which is the side of the stone here, uh, with its own number. Uh, you can go online and then you'll find out the information that's on its little passport here. Yeah, you know, I want to tell you the importance of it because a lot of people are always nervous taking their diamonds to a jeweler because yeah. you hear the story, oh, you know, I give them yeah. my best diamond, but I don't get a diamond back. Well, now you're covered. So that's this it. is also very important for that. So you can trust anybody, but always you can trust your jeweler, but that's a, a very important feature for why they do this. Mm -hmm. So these are the Canadian cut diamonds. So we'll be looking over some more diamond ideas. Yeah. I think a pennant because again, mm -hmm. you know, sweet 16 birthdays, um, graduations, Push gifts are now popular. Push gifts, so when you have a baby, you can you know, give the mom a special... A rainy day. That's a good excuse. We've had a lot of those. We've had a lot so of rainy days. days. Okay, I want lots of diamonds. <laughs> you know what? I want this diamond because of all the rainy days. This is making me feel a lot yeah. better. And so I want to share with you the different pennants to think about because again... Let me show you with my lovely tennis bracelet. Oh yes, look at her. This thing me. made my day. It's, it's stunning. stunning. It is a beautiful piece yeah. and it's well worth coming in and taking a look yeah. and trying to um, sure. See, the and things make How many carrots is that? Ten, would you believe? Ten carrots. That's it made my day. <laughs> <laughs> so we love our jobs. So yeah. Yeah. Let's take a sip. Yeah, I agree. We're celebrating diamonds here today. Yeah. So, with Linda's beautiful bracelet, and mm -hmm. I want to show you her necklace again. This kind of a necklace could be in their solitaire stones. Yep, yeah. they're, they're all set. Um, um, this is a in French you call it rivière, a river. Yes. Well, I love the river. So it's yeah. beautiful. And again, if you're looking for, and these can be set with uh, larger stones, smaller stones. Because mm -hmm. this is what's unique about the Robert J Jewelers that they are custom designers as well. So if you see something we like, you want a variation of size or yeah. color. They can modify it for you. That's so that's it. very important. We work with our customers. Yes, you do. For sure. So let's talk about me. 
Yes, let's talk about you. So I have beautiful yellow canary diamonds yeah. along with traditional white diamonds yeah. in white gold. Yeah, 18 karat gold with matching earrings and a matching ring as well. Yes, I have a matching ring as well. So I think I need to go to Maybe Cinderella? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go to the We ball. need a party. Just <laughs> give us a call, let us know, we'll be there. Exactly. So I wanna share with you, don't forget, because of different color stones out there, and diamonds, that mm -hmm. also makes it unique to, you know, and uh, for that person, because maybe the traditional white diamond is not what you want. You're looking for a variation of, also this looks great, and a engagement yeah, ring as well. Yeah. And it, it was very popular for a while there, the uh, canary diamond with yep. the white diamonds. And, and it still is, you know, you can do pretty much whatever you like, and it's all here for you to come exactly. in and take a look. So along with July, Canada's birthday. Another birthday! Okay! <laughs> Rubies, rubies, and and they also uh, Rache jewelers. We have a beautiful selection of rubies, and something I want to share with you Ooh. as well is this collection. And Linda, do tell me because interesting enough, rubies are sapphires. That's right. It's the same family as sapphires, but if they're red, they're called rubies. Any other colors, whether it be blue, yellow whatever, they're yeah. called sapphires. And they're the second in uh, hardness after diamond. So it's a durable stone. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been used as an engagement ring. Um, yes. Princess Fergie had a ruby to match her fiery red mane. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jessica yeah. Simpson as well and her sister. Oh, yeah, they used uh, that as an engagement ring. Well, you know, if you're lucky, you know, here's the thing, people get married one time, two times, three times. And so if you're looking, it's a little bit different than a traditional diamond. Yeah. I consider a stone. It could be a ruby a or a color stone or a sapphire. Mm -hmm. And along with this pretty uh, so yeah, you stone, made you came up with a nice combination there. I like the idea of something like this. Yeah, and then you have a beautiful gold diamond and ruby, white gold. And I mean, red right. is the color of passion and love. Yes. You can't go wrong, right? I actually think this is quite pretty. I, I would definitely, um, you know, thinking of it at another wedding, this yeah. is something to consider. And also, if you want to be a little bit more blingy, you know, I think bling is good, quite frankly. Diamonds really bring out, this will definitely bring a nice yeah. combination as well. I think that is just, sounds yeah. off beautiful. And again, traditional gold is, is everybody's taste. So, also to think about, uh, you know, July babies. Yep. You want to get and the 40th special. wedding anniversary as well as Ruby. Oh, for you. So yes, you know, we did that as kids. We got together and got my mom a Ruby ring oh, nice. for the 40th anniversary. Oh, nice. So we love yeah. that because, uh, and my mom's uh, stone is also Ruby as well. Her birthstone. Oh, okay. So, so that care about it. I wanted to ask you though, uh, Ruby red. Should people, some people, not wear that color because of their coloring, or because it's so subtle? I mean, it's not like a. You know, that's funny. Thank you. For, this is a beautiful stone, and it, it, this trumps everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, as a stylist, as you know, I always talk about color, I talk about illumination, yeah. I talk about things like that. But if if you are a red lover and you love this color, I go for it. Yes, it's, okay. it's beautiful. And these also make beautiful earrings too. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a, a like a diamond studded earring. Mm -hmm. Think about putting a halo, or it's called a jacket, a and jacket you can put it behind the, the diamond. All of a sudden, you have a, a fancy piece yeah, of like your daily studs, it. and then you have a little jacket behind, and they can be red for rubies, blue for sapphires, and emeralds, and there's a whole, even opals are beautiful like that. Yeah. So do think about this July babies because we have beautiful. Uh, it's a lovely stone. stone. And of course, he has a cute little pennant in here. That's a, yeah, that's a lovely set. This is a very nice, you know, like again, graduation. Right? Somebody's going through something special in life. A memorable event. Baby, baby gifts. Yeah, lunch gifts. gifts. For mommy. <laughs> For mommy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so the other thing, uh, before we went on camera, you know, Linda, you mm -hmm. asked me, do I travel with my jewelry? And I thought, yes, and I went to come in where I go, to be honest with you. And I have worn it, and sometimes I have, and I left it at home. That's it. She has a solution. I, I think it's important to have a set of, of pieces that are silver and cubic zirconia for when you travel. When I travel to a jeweler's convention, I wear all my bling because That's what you, you got it. <laughs> but if you go to the, the beach or whatever, I mean, you put on the lotions and you go into the cold water, there's a lot of chances that your ring will slip off. And you, you don't want to lose the ring that you got married in or your mother's 
yeah. you know, uh, memories. Yeah. So get yourself some sterling silver, cubic zirconia pieces, even studs. They look great, they do the job, and you don't have to worry about, oh my god, I've lost. I think that's a great idea. You know, as a stylist, I didn't even think about that, but I do think there's a, that it's a great option, and I do think if you like wearing a little bling with you, and if some something happens, and you're no on, worries. You're on vacations to relax, and you're so on you shouldn't to have relax. to worry about uh, losing your jewelry. So right. yeah, I think that's a uh, something to think about. Something to think about. So as we close our our, our yes. diamond session today, yeah. do you think of the Canadian 150 the diamonds? 150. Yeah, come in, take a look, beautiful, look. beautiful look, rubies wonderful selection. Don't yep. forget they can make things for you as well. Yep. And also thinking of your travel jewelry. So there are all kinds of options here. Yeah. And there's a lot of other options here to look at for all kinds of treasures. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Linda, I think we had a great time. Yes, we did. Um, uh, next time, what we're going to cover? We are going to cover. Yeah, I was thinking we would cover the uh, process of creating a custom piece. I think, Lovely you know, idea. take the uh, mystery out of that. Yeah. Let's see how we go about it. Yeah. And maybe talk a bit about uh, the different metals, uh, gold, color, different yes. color metals, and the carrot. And maybe, I guess, because we'll be in August, um, Peridot, which is the dark stone. Okay. And it's my first. It's so we'll be drinking. <laughs> exactly. So as we close today, I want to yeah. say happy birthday, Canada. Happy yeah. birthday, July babies. Have a good summer, he said. Uh, yes, and shop local. Shop local and please come into the store at Robert Roche Jewelers because it's a beautiful treasure chest. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.